Alrighty, guys, what is going on, all you beautiful people? Ow! <laughs> Shit! I just slammed my hand into the corner of the desk. Ah, uh, it's E. It's the big E. Uh, how you guys doing? Hope everybody's doing all right. I'm not doing too bad. Welcome back. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me. We are back on Survivalist. This is our classic hardcore challenge. This is my own... It's like an, it's basically a hardcore challenge with uh, the element of uh, RP involved, role play. We are playing this challenge as if uh, we this is real life and we're trying to survive off the land. So I will have the rules on the screen in just a moment, but uh, I just found out about something. I want to thank Travis Seen. He's one of my subs. I'm a sub to his channel. I love that guy. I've been following him for a while. He's got some great stuff. But he let me know something called Soul of Iron. I get all my news from Travis Seen about the game. I'm not one to keep up with current events. I probably should be since I create content for <laughs> on YouTube. But uh, yeah, I usually find out secondhand. Anyway, I believe it's um, it has to do with the Season of Mastery. And uh, I haven't really still looked into it, but I just watched a video of a guy talking about this. And... Uh, what it I think what it is we're actually probably going to try to find this out I think if you if you have a character in classic and it has not died yet you can go to uh there is a person in undercity and I think there's a person in Hall of Explorers in Ironforge where you can get a um I don't think it's a buff but it signals to other players that you have not died yet um and when you do die, it gets taken away and you can go back and get something like a debuff. It's not, I don't think it affects any stats, but it's kind of, I like that Blizzard is, has taken a small step and sort of acknowledging that the hardcore community is a real thing and that, you know, you've got some real true fans, people playing hardcore or, you know, obviously love the game. I think it's a great thing, even though I don't know a whole lot about it right now. Anyway, um, thank you, Travisine, for that information. Uh, uh, what also what I've heard about Season of Mastery though is they are like squashing the levels. I don't, I don't agree with that. I don't like that they're doing that because not, not everybody cares about getting to the end game as quickly as possible. Certainly not me. I enjoy the leveling process, but I know that's not everybody. I know a lot of people hate the leveling process and they just want to get to the what is this. I'm not in a guild. I know I'm not in a guild. What, I wonder why that popped up there. Weird. Uh, let's hide the uh, let's hide the chat button. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta find my thing. There it is. Okay. Uh, anyway, when we get to um, we get to Iron Forge, we will probably go check in. I think I've got a. Actually, I don't think I could do it on this character. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure how it works yet. Anyway, guys. I'm going to have the rules on the screen, uh, probably right over here somewhere. Uh, the rules are pretty simple. Let me open them up so I can uh, read these at the same time. Yeah. So, basically, uh, just like a hardcore challenge, there are no deaths. It is a permadeath series. This is a hunter-specific challenge that I have uh, come up with this, uh, here, and I'm going to try to do one for each class. I'm going to design a like an RP challenge type of thing. Gear, um, we can only wear what we craft or pick up from humanoids. And any quality is allowed. I'm going to allow that because it kind of makes sense to me. Uh, at the start, we must you got to destroy everything. If anybody's interested in giving this a shot, uh, it might be fun. We destroyed our hearthstone. We destroyed all of our gear, all of our weapons. The stuff you see here is either quest rewards or something we've picked up from a humanoid. I am not allowing um, any gear from animals because it doesn't make sense. Kill a bear and he drops pants, I'm going to destroy it. We're not even going to have the benefit of selling it. I'm going to try to keep it uh, keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Uh, another big one here for this specific challenge, we cannot use any abilities that require mana. Uh, none of them. So that's most, if not all, of our, uh, our shots. 
Um, our melee attacks, our ranged, any of that. We can't do uh, any of that stuff. The only allowable use of mana for this challenge is has to do with our pet. We are allowed to tame a pet, and that is the only allowable use of mana uh, in the game. And the pet is also going to be permadeath. If we we hit level 10, if we make it that far, and we... Um, we tame a pet and the pet dies. We have to train. We have to tame another one. That is the only allowable use of mana. Uh, talents are allowed, but you still have to obey by the no mana rule. And my thinking there is there are some talents that are passive that may help us out that don't require you to click on them and don't cost mana. Professions are allowed and we can learn all of them. And that goes right into the next thing, buffs. The only allowable buff we are allowed is from something that we cook, a food buff. That's it. We can't use Mark of the Wild. Uh, we can't use mage buffs, priest buffs, any of that stuff. Only something that we cook from food. And that goes right into cooking. We can only eat what we cook or pick up from a humanoid. That's kind of the same thing as the gear rule there. There is no Hearthstone allowed, and we are not allowed Rested Experience. Why do I have Rested Experience? I should not have Rested Experience right now. We logged out in here, and this is not a Rested place. All right. I don't know. I took precaution not to log out in the inn. I don't know if this just happens when you log out. I don't know what happened there, but you can see we don't have disease, so we should not have Rested Experience. But anyway, not allowed. Uh, Hearthstone, yeah, not allowed. We, uh, I've got rid of the Hearthstone. You are not allowed to use the Hearthstone. Mounts are not allowed, and we can not use the auction house or trade with other players or get into groups. We can buy and sell, but only from vendors, and that is basically it, boys. Let's jump back into it. Let's see what we're working on here. we got a bunch of stuff. I still have a quest to go uh, back to the Webwood Cage in Shadow Glen. What is this? Let's work on some cooking stuff, boys. Small spider legs. Let's get some smider, uh, some smider. Let's get some spider legs. Get our cooking up a little bit here. Should be right in this area. We uh we picked up leather working last episode. We ran up here to uh it's right out here. Little area where there was a uh, skinner and leatherworking trainer. And those are the professions we have chosen because with leatherworking, obviously we can make gear for ourselves. This Darnasian blue was a quest reward. That's why it's on the bar. We also have cooking. We can cook stuff. And I've got a skinning knife. So we are ready to roll here. See if we can find some spiders. Anyway, hope you guys are doing all right. Surely do. Today is a uh, Wednesday for me. And WoW has been down most of the day. I don't know why I said it like Christopher Walken. Oops. Go ahead and attack him. Yeah, it's finally back up. It looks like they're still having authentication issues. Probably a DDoS attack. I don't know. Distributed denial of service. Pretty easy to do. But apparently not easy to overcome. If you are the victim of it. All right, we got a snapped limb there. Got to be careful. We are on a slightly higher level. We are a level five. These things are our level or higher, so I do want to be mindful of that. I don't think the owls are hostile. No, they're not. So I was trying to, I was thinking about what type of, what is this? It might be some quest thing. Actually, you know what? Let's check in with the quests here. We are going to be out in this area, and if I can get a quest to pick up cones or something, I may as well do that. So let's go check in. Let's get some more quests in the uh, in our quest log here. It is Halloween. They've got the candy in there you can get, but I'm not going to allow it. Uh, just because it gives a buff, I think. And we didn't cook that, so I'm not allowing it. What is this? Denelin's Earth. Are you heading to the south? To Lake Alameth? If so, then I have a task I might ask of you. Okay, my colleague Denelin has a camp along the eastern end of the lake where he is studying the experiment and experimenting on the plant life of Teldrassil. He requested a package of rare earths from Darnassus, and it was late, only recently arriving here in Dolinar. Can you take the package? Yes, I can take the package. What do we got here? I am listening. Mr. Bearmantle, a troubling breeze blows through the forest. 
Gellerus Ta Talverthren, boy, these names, uh, serves as a great warden to the hibernating druids of the Talon and the Ban Athel Baroden. His duty as a chosen protector of the sleeping is to ensure their safety so that their pact with Ysira remains fulfilled. Oh, well, that's interesting. I don't know lore. Uh, I don't know lore in the game, and it, me reading these quests are uh, kind of... I find out things that I just had no idea about. Uh, but word from Garolos is now delayed, and I grow nervous, and I'm probably going to butcher all of these names. So if anybody's big on lore who watches this channel, I apologize. <laughs> uh, travel east to Starbreeze Village and bring back a report from Garolos. Sounds like an... Yeah, that would be an elf, right? Reminds me of Legolos. Uh, so that I could put my worries to rest, knowing my dreaming brethren slumber safely. Okay. Seek out Garolos in Starbreeze Village. We ran past that. We do know where it is. Let's go over here and check in the inn. Yeah, I don't know why we have rested experience. I guess she doesn't... Had we logged out in the inn, this would probably be a lot further, but maybe there's no way around that. So that is what it is. Hey, brother. How's it going? Got any quests up here? I don't see any more. Let's check everything out. I do need to learn first aid as well. We've got some linen cloth. All right, looks like we've got no more. So let's head... Uh, we'll head... Starbreeze Village is just here. We're going to be careful in that area. I don't want to get destroyed. Cooking. Okay. We'll cook... We'll cook soon. We'll start cooking some stuff up. We do need to get uh, a bow. <laughs> and we do need to get uh, arrows. Yeah, I got to be careful here. Um, well, Let's melee this thing down. It doesn't poison me, so... I don't like poisons in a hardcore challenge at this early. We have no gear, basically. Yeah, this is uh this isn't actually that good. I have no means of escaping. Um am I gonna die here? Come on, any big hits, man. Oh my god, are we gonna die, dude? Come on, please. Please. Oh my god, we're gonna die. <laughs> are you fucking serious? Level five? <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's embarrassing. That is absolutely ridiculous what just happened there. <laughs> well, we're going to start this again. That is not the end. We're going to start this again. We're going to start this again. That's what happens in a hardcore challenge. I did not expect. I thought we would get to level 10. I thought somewhere between 10 and 15. But this is what a hardcore challenge is. That thing was just one level above us, and that's what happens. So... I could have ran off, possibly. The thing is, as soon as you turn your back on something that's attacking you, you get dazed. So I was trying to run sideways. I probably should have made a little more effort. I realized right when we got to about the halfway point and the mob was about the three-quarters point health-wise, I should have just ran off, but I didn't. <laughs> okay. Well, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to redo it. We're going to start the challenge again because what is this? Is this the third episode? This is the second episode. Third. This is the third episode, I think. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, the rules specify. That's it. Uh, we're going to delete the character. And I'm going to start over. How far are we in? <laughs> 13 minutes into the episode, boys. Uh, log out. Yeah, that happened. That did happen. 
So I can't have the episode 10 minutes long because you guys will definitely know how that ended. <laughs> the Hardcore Challenge, it's, it's no joke. It's, uh, it's hardcore. All right, we're going to delete him. He's done. Survivalist is done. I did not expect this to happen. So let me see here. We're just going to start a new one, boys. I'm always going to have a hardcore challenge going on the uh, on the channel. I love the hardcore challenge. So we are in classic. We are not in TBC, and I'm going to stay in classic. Let's see. What are we going to do here? I wonder if I should roll some dice. We're actually going to do the horde. Uh, I did a uh, I did a let's play where I rolled dice to determine alliance or horde, and then I rolled dice to determine which um, race, and then I rolled dice to determine which class. Uh, I could do that, but I don't want to wind up with something we've already done. We've done the undead. I've done a tauren. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, voodoo is no more. The troll. I don't think we've we've done an orc. We've did the pugilist challenge on the orc. The only thing we have not done on the channel at this point, I'm pretty sure, is a human. I think we're going to do a human, guys. And wait, humans can't be warriors, can they? They cannot be warriors. I mean, hunters. And I wanted to do a hunter-specific quest. But you know what? I can still use... Okay. I'm gonna do some YouTube magic. We're gonna play. We're gonna play human. I'm gonna to try to do something we've not done. We've not done warlock. We've not done rogue, warlock, priest, or paladin. Have we done paladin? I don't think. Okay, guys. I'm gonna do YouTube magic. I'm gonna come up right now. I'm just gonna put a spin on the hunter specific rules, and I'm gonna create something for one of the classes we have not done here. Actually, Warlock would work best with the no mana roll. Give me a second. I'll be right back. A one, a two, skiddly diddly do. Boom, we're back just like that. Ah, uh, so I have decided we're going to play Human Warlock. We've not done a human on the channel before, and I don't think we've done Warlock either. So uh, a little bit of time passed between my YouTube magic there, and um, I have been wanting... There is a site called ClassicHC.net. Pretty sure this is a player-created thing, but you can register on the site. Um, pretty cool. Check it out. Uh, it's a hardcore community. It's on Classic. It's not TBC. And we can basically, as long as I record my progress, uh, we can sort of keep track there. It's a little bit like the Iron Man website. There's an Iron Man website also created by players where if you reach level 60, you get onto this list. Uh, as like an honorary member. Uh, anyway, we're gonna be. I'm gonna be uh, recording, and I'm probably gonna be posting there. You can post your snippets and clips to there. Not for that part of it, but just because I think it's a cool idea. Uh, we can get into a guild, the hardcore. There's two guilds. We're playing on Blood Sail Buccaneers, U.S. East, that uh, area. Uh, and if you're on the uh, RP server, Blood Cell Buccaneers, for the Alliance, you can get into a guild if you want. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to have the rules on the screen right over here. So this is a Warlock-specific challenge, but not really. It's just kind of a hardcore challenge. It's not really Warlock-specific, but I'm listing it as that. Anyway, this is permadeath. We are not allowed to use our Soul Stone as a Warlock. Professions, I am allowing. You can allow any professions. Gear, I am allowing. Only from professions, quest rewards, or humanoid drops. That is it. We can't have any drops off an animal or a non-humanoid. At the start, just like our survivalist challenge, we must destroy everything that we own. Talents. I am going to allow talents, and I am allowing the use of mana in this one. Just because this would be an absolute nightmare, <laughs> I think. But I'm going to allow uh, talents for this Let's Play. Buffs are not allowed at all. The only buffs that I'm allowing are the buffs that we get from food that we cook. Uh, as far as the economy, e economy, the economy, no auction house is allowed, uh, no trading with other players, but the vendor use is allowed just like before. Uh, no groups or dungeons, uh, no hearthstone, and no rested XP at the end. Uh, only thing I want to uh, go back on here is the gear. Um, it can be any quality, 
and that is in line with the the rules on the classic hc.net but i was also allowing that in the survivalist challenge it makes sense that you would be able to craft gear that's better than a white or gray quality anyway that those are the rules and we're going to jump right back in here this is lucius this is our human warlock and i'm going to take myself off the screen just like that and uh let's listen to this intro guys sit back and enjoy Wait a minute. The noble humans oh, here we go. Stormwind are a proud, tenacious race. Though the recent invasion of the demonic Burning Legion decimated their sister kingdom of Lordaeron, the defenders of Stormwind stand vigilant against any who would threaten the sanctity of their land. Nestled in the foothills of Elwyn Forest, Stormwind City is one of the last bastions of human power in the world. Ruled by the Child King, Anduin Rin, the people of Stormwind remain steadfast in their commitment to the Grand Alliance. Backed by their stalwart allies, the armies of Stormwind have been called away to fight the savage horde on distant battlefields. With the armies gone, the defense of Stormwind now falls to its proud citizens. You must defend the kingdom against the foul mongrels that encroach upon it and hunt down the subversive traitors who seek to destroy it from within. Now is the time for heroes. Now humanity's greatest chapter can be told. All right, boys. Here we go. All right. Um, so the add-ons, let me show you this add-on. You can get an add-on called Hardcore. And it lets, uh, it, like, if you when you get into this guild, it will let guild members know if you die or what's going on. I kind of like that idea. We're using the hide chat button, of course, so I can hide uh, this, you know, clean up the screen. And we're also using bartender, which I've not configured yet. I think for now, I'm just going to, we're going to play it like this. But next episode, I will have probably set my interface back to how it was. Just so you guys can see this portion of the bar over here. That type of thing? Is this guy in the guild? He might be. No, he's not. Well, he might be. I don't know. So I know there's, I think there's two guilds for the Alliance and two guilds for the Horde, but I could be wrong there as far as this classic community hardcore server. So uh, first things first, we've got to destroy everything that we start with. We're going to play this uh, from scratch. We also have to destroy what we're wearing. We're going to be naked. We are going to be naked, boy. No weapons, nothing. It's a little bit like the Pugilist Challenge I did. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Uh, let me do... Uh, hang on a second. Actually, let me turn Bartender off for right now. Just so I can get this basic thing back up here. And then let's go... Give me a second, guys. Um, I'm not going to auto loot that way you guys can see what I pick up because we're not going to be looting armor from animals. You can see everybody on the server, they you'll see them with the HC at the end of their name for hardcore. Kind of like that. I think all the rest of this stuff is going to be okay. I'm going to hide that and hide that. Social, I want to block trades. Um, I'm going to block chat channel. Action bars. Good enough for now. Let's use... Actually, we'll just we'll hang on to this. So let me move this stuff over here so you guys can see what I'm using. What's our auto attack? We've got some de demon armor. Um, am I going to allow this? I didn't cover this. No, I'm not going to allow any buffs. So we're taking demon armor off. Uh, the only uh, 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 buffs we're allowed are from food that we make. It would be nice to have that, though. Anyway... Let's do this, guys. Um, here we go. Let's check in with Deputy Willem. Hello. A threat within. I hope you strapped your belt on tight, young warlock, because there's no work to do here in Northshire. Or there is work to do. <laughs> and I don't mean farming. The Stormwind Guards are hard-pressed to keep the peace here with so many of us in distant lands and so many threats pressing close. 
And so we're enlisting the aid of anyone willing to defend their home and their alliance. If you're here to answer the call, then speak with my superior, Marshal McBride. He's inside the abbey behind me. See you around. See you around, Deputy Willem. Here he is right here. Level five, boys, on the survivalist challenge. Level five. <laughs> that is pretty bad. Hey, citizen, you look like a stout one. What do you mean by that? If you mean I'm muscular, then yes. We guards are spread a little thin out here, and I could use your help. Good, a volunteer. We're getting a lot of you these days. I hope it's enough. The human lands are threatened from without, and so many of our forces have been uh, marshaled abroad. This, in turn, leaves room for corrupt and lawless groups to thrive within our borders. It is a many-fronted battle we wage, Lucius. Grind yourself for a long campaign. Okay. Your first task is one of cleansing. A clan of kobolds have infested the woods to the north. Go there and fight the kobold vermin you find. Reduce their numbers uh, so that may uh, we... Uh, exactly. Okay, we want 10 of them. Bless Light bless you, whatever that means. Uh, 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 let's go deal with some kobolds, guys. I, I thought you usually started with wolves. But apparently not. Let me see if I can... I'm actually... I'm not real good with this command here. Um, how do I look up uh, guild? Mortal. Okay, we're looking for a guild called... Actually, this might... Hold on, I've got it. Hold on, hold on. I gotta check something. I've got a list of them. It is... Oh, that's Hydraxian. We're playing on Bloodsail Buccaneers. So we're looking for a guild called Classic HC. It's the Alliance Guild. So there are two horde guilds on the Bloodsail Buccaneers. There's Classic Elite, Victory or Death, and only one for the Alliance, Classic HC. So if we see somebody in the Classic HC Guild, we will ask for an invite. Not that we're going to group up with them or anything like that. But just so we can be a part of that uh, classic community, the, the hardcore community. I'm also interested in this, uh, what is it called? Soulbind? I mentioned it at the beginning of the, oh, uh, the video. It'll take me a while to get used to not auto-looting. Let's get max range here. So I played Warlock before. Warlock is actually, when I was still playing retail, it was my, it was my net main for many, many years. Uh, this is a humanoid, so we can take these pants and we can put the pants right on. That's how we're uh, that's how we're playing it. I am going to revisit the this hunter specific survivalist challenge, but uh, I figure we mix it up a little bit. We are already playing hunter on Finn, so. But I really do enjoy these hardcore challenges. They are a lot of fun for me personally, just because I enjoy the leveling process. But I imagine somebody who's not even into leveling, if they're just about the end game, I, I have a feeling this would still be interesting to do, one of these hardcore challenges. And there's many variations of it. In fact, on the classichc.net, uh, that website, they have a specific... You can uh, change the challenge. Like, you can do it a little bit differently. You cannot allow professions at all, and you get, like, a different ranking depending on how far you make it. I think that's interesting. Uh, we can wear these boots. Oh, the leather. We can't wear them. That's right. We are a warlock, so we can only wear cloth. Not played warlock in a while. Even though my main on retail is a warlock, I've not. Uh, I've not been over on retail in a long time. I've not played it. I've not really played my warlock since um, I don't know, three or four months into classic. I don't remember when it was. It might have been a little bit longer than that. But the guild I was in, we were raiding Molten Core. And uh, I stopped playing shortly after that. Uh, this is a level three I'm fighting here. I've got to pay attention. I have got to pay attention. So we can use this because this dropped from a mob. And we're going to drink some right now. 
It dropped from a humanoid. If this water had dropped from an animal or a non-humanoid, I wouldn't be picking it up. I like that idea. I like that spin on, on the challenge here. So let me pick on level one or twos, and let's track this so we can see what's going on here. There's a level one. I don't like the way he's looking at me. I'll pick on a level one all day long. All right. We can wear these. We'll put these on. Yeah, we're looking like a proper survivalist, sort of. Wow. It, uh, he he kind of auto... Okay. I guess I did that. That was a little bit weird. There's level two. There's a melted candle. Kobolds love them a melted candle or two. Since we're level two, we're, I'm okay with level threes. I'm okay with something one level above us, even though we died on survivalists. It was a we were level five, and it was... Well, you guys remember? It was at the beginning of the episode. <laughs> it feels like two episodes ago to me, because I took a lot of time coming up with this new thing here. All right. How are we doing? We need three more. Oh, we just need the vermins. I'm not even... I wasn't even slaying the right things. That's right. There's two different types of kobolds. There's vermins. There's workers. There might be laborers in the mine. Doesn't really matter at this point. We're getting XP. We can wear that. Drop from a humanoid. There's another vermin. Let's get max range here. Or, you know, farther away. Yeah, the f very first mob, we dropped on the very, we died on the very first mob in that challenge. <laughs> I mean, in the, at the beginning of the episode, what you guys saw. That's, I can't believe that. I really can't believe that happened. I probably could have gotten away. I should have just turned around and started running um, when my health got down about halfway and his was still like three quarters. All right, we we're done with that. Yeah, a little disappointed there, but, you know, move on. That's how hardcore challenges are. Sometimes you get a little further than you do at other times. I buy and trade. Good. I need somebody who buys and trades. We're going to keep this mana, uh, the mana water. We're going to keep this spring water because we got it off of a, Go with honor, off of a humanoid. All right. Need help? Kobold cleanup. Well done, citizen. The kobolds are and thieves and cowards. Gosh, I'm having trouble reading today, guys. They are thieves and cowards, but in large numbers, they pose a threat to us, and the humans of Stormwind do not need another threat. For defeating them, you have my gratitude and 25 copper. All right. Tainted letter. I was asked to bring you this to your attention as soon as you returned from the kobold camp. Uh, Lucas. Lucius. <laughs> oh, my God. It appears to be a letter sealed with the insignia of Drusilia. One of our local trainers. I wouldn't hesitate to read it before you go out, before you go about any other business here in the Appy. Uh, good God, guys, it's gonna be brutal. This the last fifteen minutes of this are gonna be rough. Greetings. Investigate Echo Ridge, Lucius. My scouts tell me that the kobold infestation is larger than we had thought. A group of kobold workers has camped near Echo Ridge Mine to the north. Go to the mine and remove them. We know there are at least ten. Kill them. See if there are more, then report back to me. Okay? Be careful. I will be careful. Um, where is this trainer? Let's take a look at this. Gosh, this font. Too often people like the followers of the Holy Light scare those curious about true power into thinking they cannot investigate. Uh, they cannot investigate any form of the arcane. Not all things from outside this world are evil. Not all entities seek to dominate or subjugate others. If you are powerful enough, those same entities can become the followers. There's something I would like to discuss more with you. Seek me out in the graveyard on the right side of the abbey. Okay, glad I read that because I wasn't sure uh, where she was going to be, despite there being a yellow dot right there. We will do that, but let's check in with uh, Willem again. Egan Peltskinner. Egan Peltskinner is looking for someone to hunt wolves for him. That's good news because we're seeing a lot more wolves in North Shower 
North Shire Valley. If you're interested, then speak uh, with Egan. He's around the side of the Abbey to the left. Okay. Have a good one. You have a good one. What else do you have, my friend? Recently, a new group of thieves has been hanging around Northshire. They call themselves the Defias Brotherhood and have been seen across the river to the east. I don't know what they're up to, but I'm sure it's not good. Bring me the bandanas they wear, and I'll reward you with a weapon. Okay? He wants 12 of them, and we will absolutely take that. Safe travels, Safe travels brother. If you ever leave your post and travel someday. Here we go. Drusilla LaSalle. Sounds French. What can I do? Oui. <laughs> I apologize to anybody who's French is watching this. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, so you've arrived and not a moment too soon, Lucius. Some of the guards were over here a moment ago and were giving me curious look. Looks. Pathetic mundaneness. Well, who was it? I'll beat their ass. Uh, continue. Hang on a second. I'll come back to that. Let me see if this guy. Let me see if this guy's in the uh, in the guild here. I think anybody can invite. I get rid of this. We're looking for. Is it mortal? Wait, I've already forgotten the name of the guild, guys. Let me open this real quick. We're looking for classic HC. Wait a minute. HC Elite? Oh, it's not on this list. Mortal is in the list. Hydraxian Warlords. Okay, hold on. Let me... Um, let's see if this guy can invite me. Let's turn uh, let's turn this on. Let's see if we can get into the thing here. Boom. Just like that. Hello and thank you. There we go. So now this add-on that we use, the HC, the hardcore add-on, will record. If we die, it'll let the it'll let everybody know. Yeah, this is a player thing which I think is uh, fantastic. Let's unlock this. Change this a little bit. It's probably going to be hiding this window for most of the Hello? time, but I'll leave it up. Actually, you guys can't even see it. Hold on. Let me let me move this over here for now. That way you guys can see if you're interested. We'll put it right here because things I target are going to be right here. Let's do this. That'll work. Lock it. All right. Yeah, everybody's welcoming me. Ah, so you've arrived, and I know, yeah, we read that. Continue. As you grow in power, you will be tempted. You must always remember to control yourself. I will not lie. Corruption can come to any practitioner of the arcane, especially one who deals with creatures from the Twisting Nether. Be patient and prudent, but do not let that repress your ambition. As you grow more powerful, return to me, and I will teach you more about our ways. Okay, the Stolen Tome. You there, Lucius, right? Yes, we were just uh, speaking. Uh, I hope you're sure about becoming a warlock, because if you can't hold your own, you're likely to get pulled under. The dark side. I'm to teach you, but I need to make sure you're strong enough first. There was a novice studying at the Abbey who ran off to join the Defias Brotherhood. Why do I care? Well, he stole some important books. One of those happens to be a book I've wanted for myself, and the powers of the Void steal it back for me. They have it hidden at their tent in the vineyards. That should stay steal it back for me. It just says steal it for me. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, yeah. Okay, we will do that. Oh, we get summon imp already. See you around. I didn't think he got summoned a pet until a lot later. We're gonna turn this off for right now. Uh, okay. Well, let's do that. Um, I probably want to do that first. The vineyards. Let's go. Uh, let's give this a shot. Well, actually, let's go see. Uh, let's go check in with Egan Peltskinner here. And then we will get ourselves an imp. Is he in the abbey? He's over here. I think he said he's on the left side. There we go. Pelt scanner. You need some wolves killed, my friend. That's true. I'm looking for someone to hunt me some wolves. Are you that person? My nose is itchy. 
I hate those nasty timber wolves, but I sure like eating wolf steaks. Bring me tough wolf meat and I will exchange it for something you'll find useful. Tough wolf meat is gathered from hunting the timber wolves and young wolves wandering the north side of the Northshire countryside. He wants eight pieces and we will get some uh, slightly upgraded uh, feet. Sure. See you later. We will do that. Matter of fact, we'll work on it right now. There's a piece there. So the meat that we get, you know, as long as it's not a quest item, I'm going to allow the use of it. Obviously, you can gather meat from animals, and we're going to use that in cooking, because that is the only food buff. Buff. It's the only food buff. It's the only buff we are allowed in the game. I like that idea. Not enough mana. Oh. Well, why don't you just run in low mana then? Let's move this over here. So we can move it up there. Actually, I'll leave this up for you guys. I don't know if anybody's interested, but it might be fun to read that. Might not be fun. Got a ruined pelt. Um, hold on. Put this. We'll put this up here. Watch me mess around and die. <laughs> what a mess with the interface here. So I'm not going to pick these up because we can't use it. It wouldn't make any sense that a wolf would have bracers on him. I guess if he ate a human being, right, maybe the bracer would be inside of him. I'm not allowing that nonsense. Okay, I got to turn this off. <laughs> it's too distracting. I'm easily distracted. Get our mana back up. We'll finish killing these wolves and then we will run across. We should get to level three and I'll feel more comfortable about going over there to that vineyard. There are a lot of mobs tightly packed in there. I want to get to level 10. <laughs> Cannot believe we died at level five. I don't think I've ever died that early on in a hardcore challenge in all the years I have been playing World of Warcraft and doing the hardcore challenge. I don't think I've ever died that early. That is, uh, that's pretty shameful. <laughs> that little resist there. All right, I think, uh... I don't know how many more pieces we need because the quest disappeared. Hopefully we can come across a wand. I know a wand for a priest uh, and a warlock is pretty handy. We just need one more piece and that is level three. Let's get our last wolf here. You there. I don't know why he hates the wolves. He said he hates them, but he likes their meats. All right. Quest completed, boys. Let's go get some upgraded boots. What can I do for you? Uh, uh, you've been busy. I can't wait to cook up that wolf meat. I wish he would have given us like a little bit of food or a, um, a recipe. Okay, we'll take these. Safe travels. And we'll chuck them on. We now have seven armor feet. We're ready for molten core. All right, let's roll. Let's go get our imp. And, um, well, you know what we have to do here, don't you? What is it? What? More work? What is it? More work? What? What is it? More work? What? What is it? What? More work? <laughs> I absolutely love those guys. Okay, uh, let me read this again. There was a novice studying it. Ran up some of these fires. Steal it for me. They've hidden it at their tent in the vineyards. Okay. At their tent. What level are these guys? These are a level above us, so I'm going to be careful here. I'm going to be careful. We're going to fight our way over. Do they cross the river? 
they will. I don't think they'll cross the river or uh, water if it's too too deep. I think they'll bug out. And will they run off is the other thing. Uh, give me that. So I know there's a couple of tents back here. I guess this whole area could be considered the vineyard. Uh, let me keep an eye out here. I don't... Uh... Yeah, this area is pretty dang rough. There's a lot of mobs in the area. So I don't want to pull more than one thing. If we pull more than one thing at this level, I'm just running. I'm not going to mess around like we did on Survivalist. We're just going to run. We can wear this. We can use all this stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. Throw that on. Quest item. Put some cheese down there. I can use it because it dropped. You guys know the deal by now? Yeah, so the tent is going to be where I thought it was. So we'll just fight our way over there. I resisted the first one. This gets you in trouble. If you get a mob that resists... A couple of your spells or attacks, it can be brutal uh, in this challenge. I mean, even if you're not playing the challenge, it could still be rough. Do we have bracers? Yeah, they're the same thing. Okay. Yeah, looks like a tent back there. Looks pretty tenty. Got like four bolts off. Your mana is low. Get a little coin saved up. Because I think it's going to cost us to uh, train a few things. Let's have... Um, it would just be careful. Level three. I need to get closer. I feel okay with level threes. They won't resist as easy as a level four. Oh boy, there's a lot of them right there. I'm looking for a book. I see it right there. Okay. So this could be a problem if these guys are linked. So let me I'm going to get rid of this guy. Um yeah, let's get rid of him. I uh, there's no way I can do I could deal with 3 of them. There's just no way. All right, let's have a quick drink here. Level 3, level 3. Okay, they're all level 3s. That's decent. I think what I might have to do here, I think they're linked together, which means I can't pull just one of these out, I don't think. I'm going to try. But regardless, I'm going to try to get one of these down, and then we're going to run off and reset the fight. I want to be max ranged as possible. Maybe I can burn him down. Are they all going to come? They all. They're going to come. Okay. That's fine. That's what we're going to do. That's how we're going to play this. I'll do them one at a time. There we go. Yeah, demon armor. Have they already respawned these things? Demon armor would be nice to throw up. I don't mean like regurgitate it. You know what I mean. I mean use it. <laughs> okay, we've got some we do have some pats in the area. Oh, we got another one there. I, I do have to be careful. This is a little bit... I feel a little bit uncomfortable here. All right, we'll do the same strat. We're going to burn this down. If I can get a couple of big crits, we might be able to just go right in on the other one. Oh, that's brutal. If that resist? Come on. Okay. Oh, we got one there. Oh, man. Stuff has respawned behind me. Can I get out of here? Oh, my God. 
This is not good. This respawn rate is not good. Okay, I made it out. But now I've got to fight my way back in there. Actually, they don't seem to have that. The aggro range isn't that... Uh, isn't that big. So, this guy's already back? Are you kidding me? I think I've got to run in there and grab it and then just run out. Maybe that's what I need to do. See if we cannot get resisted here. Oh my god, man. This is not good. I need to... Can I just get this? Do I have to stop? And I have to pick it up that way? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we can do this then. God. Okay, can we... Yeah, they're already back. <laughs> like, what the hell, Blizzard? Um... Yeah, and it's one of those things where you can't run over and click on it. You gotta, it takes like, I don't know, five, six seconds to unlock the thing. So we might have to come back for this. Looks like I'm gonna always have two. If I can get some big crits and get her down fast enough. Come on, get her down. Get her down with this one. I'm gonna beat. I'm already out of mana. Right, this could be really bad here. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, please, please, please. Don't loot, hit. Get her. Get her, get her, get her. Get her, get her. Okay, go, 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 go. Where's the book? Get it. Right there he is. Yeah, get it, dude. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> this is real risky doing this. All right, well, they make it... Uh, you definitely earn your imp. That's why I like classic. This is why I like it. This, I mean, retail, that would have been an absolute joke. You could have run in there with like three mobs behind you and then taken on three more. <laughs> it's like... Okay. I should get my heart pumping there. If I would have died at level three after dying at level five, I probably would have uninstalled the game. Well met. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was funny too, Drusilla. Uh, I was too conspicuous for me. it was too conspicuous for me to steal the book myself. What luck! Uh, one of their own uh, uh, patsies did the work for me. Right. Struggle more with the uh, the words. Excellent. I was never able to gain access to this text. It was held in a protected wing of the library that would have looked suspicious for me to be loitering around. Well, you did a good job in getting this, and I'm convinced that you can probably handle your own imp, so there's no reason for me not to show you how to summon one. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. There we go, boys. We're going to put that on the bar. Let's put them over here. I didn't look at my racial. What is it? Um... Perception dramatically increases stealth uh, detection. We'll put that on the bar. I, no, I don't know how often we're going to use that. It would be nice to throw this up. Protects the caster, increasing armor and by 40 and restores 3 health per 5 seconds. Should I allow myself to use this? I am a warlock. You know, when I was doing the hunter thing with no mana, I was thinking, because we're not, we're not a magical... Um, class we're not a magical race a hunter is just you know he's a hunter and he survives off the land but we are a warlock involved in the dark powers i think i am going to allow this it's allowed in the um uh the site that i'm using it's allowed in those rules but this is my own challenge i mean it wouldn't make any sense that i could use magic to summon an imp but i couldn't use magic to so that actually changes my mind right there we're going to use that I'm going to allow for this, and I'll make the change. Should be able to allow whatever your class allows you to. But like, if I was doing a warrior, I wouldn't allow any magical abilities. It just wouldn't make sense. But we are a mer uh, a murloc. <laughs> we are a warlock. Same thing with a mage. That's a magical, 
you know, they use magic. So anyway, uh, yeah, let's see what, let's see what name we get. Uh, let's summon our imp here. Increases armor by 40, which is nothing. It restores three health per five seconds, which is also nothing. But it is better than nothing. So we, we got Garnip here. There he is. There's Garnip, boys. Uh, we're pretty close to level four. I don't think we can train anything. Can't train anything up here. So Let's kill ready? a couple of things. We'll get to level four and see what new warlock abilities we have. Definitely going to have to move this. So I'm going to start him in. And then we're going to go in. So imps basically have no health. They are like paper mache. Why do I feel like I've played Warlock down the channel? I'm having deja vu a little bit here. Have we played a Warlock on the channel? I don't think we have. I, I don't know. But they do, uh, they do a lot of damage. Those imp fireballs. Kill a few more things here. Yeah, one or two hits, and uh, the imp is dead. <laughs> All right, that's level four. I will be changing the bars around so it's a little easier. It's easier on the eyes, and it's a little more convenient for me to use. Yeah. What do we have here? We've got corruption rank one. Yeah, so... Yeah, I, it definitely going to change the... the um, I'm not sure I specified it, but I'm going to allow... Since I'm allowing talents... Um, I'm going to, yeah, we're a magical user, so we can use mana, which means we would be allowed to, to use this stuff. So don't think I can afford any of it. We can get that. We'll get Emily rank one. Can't afford any of these yet. Be careful. I will be careful. Let's put this on the bar. So that'll be, is it an instant cast? No, it's two second cast. So what I'm going to do here, um, how do I want to play this? I want to do this one first and then the Shadow Bolt. Yeah, that's we'll keep that just like that. All right, let's sell a couple of things and then we've got to call it. Might even get, uh, if we can get 20 or 19 silver, we can go back and pick up one, uh, one of those abilities. Greetings. Greetings. Yeah, let's, uh, that's a quest item. Sell that, sell that. Oh yeah, we can afford it. All right. Light bless you. Light bless you. Let's go get an ability here. Can I help you? Yes, you can. We want corruption. I don't really care too much about curse of weakness. I mean, I care about it, but not right now because we can only afford one thing. But we want that. Is that instant? That is also a two-second cast. That's one thing about Warlocks, man. They have so many abilities, and you spend most of your time just applying dots. So let me see here. This is uh, 40 shadow damage over 12 seconds. This is over 15 seconds. Okay, so I want the one that lasts longer first, so we're going to do it this way. We'll open up with Emulate. It burns the enemy for nine fire damage, and then additional 20 over 15 seconds. But then our next, we'll throw up Corruption, which is a two-second cast. Causes 40 shadow damage over 14 seconds, and then we will go in with our Shadow Bolts. And that will be our rotation for now. Anyway, there's no rested XP here. This isn't an end, but we are going to log out here. We're going to call it. Yeah, we'll find us a nice cozy spot in the Abbey. We'll hit level five and we'll go uh I'm out of range. we'll go work on some uh professions and I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet. Try to do something. Leatherworking skinning, herbing, herbing, uh herbing and alchemy. It's kind of the go-to, but I'm thinking about maybe trying something different. Um as a cloth wearer, I think tailoring might come in handy. I think you can also make bags with tailoring. So maybe tailoring and what pairs with tailoring? I don't remember. We'll have to think about it. Anyway, guys, we are going to call it here. Thanks for hanging out with me. It's been a long episode. It's been a roller coaster ride. That's what hardcore challenges are. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I hope you guys are too. You guys take care. Lucius and myself will catch you guys in the next one. Take care and peace. <laughs>